Hey guys, it's Coach Steve, and I've got this week's workout brief. Starting on Monday, we're going to start off with the test of what we've been building up to for the last couple of weeks. So we're going to build up to the heaviest uh, single bench press rep that you can do. This is looking for a one rep max on bench press, or if you know that's just not a max kind of day, building to a heavy single, something that is extremely challenging for you. Um, maybe not uh, to failure, but at least go super heavy, as heavy as you can. Um, spend some time building up to this. Uh, see where you are and see where the training has taken you over the last few weeks practicing the bench press. Once we're done with that, we're going into a nine-minute AMRAP. This is 10 single-arm suitcase lunges, so holding the dumbbell in one hand, um, 10 handstand push-ups, and 10 wall ball shots. Wall ball shots on this one are a little bit heavier. Primary focus here is going to be muscle fatigue. So all of these movements should challenge you um, as far as your muscles are concerned. Your, your legs should start to feel like jello. Handstand push-ups, probably not going to go unbroken. Those, um, those arms should definitely start to feel like they're getting extremely fatigued. The big benefit here is this is only nine minutes, so we're not looking to go um, super crazy here as far as, as rounds, looking kind of uh, just very consistent without, without petering out too much. So don't go to failure on any of this stuff because those muscles will be the part that should be giving out first. On Tuesday, going straight into a longer kind of AMRAP uh, between running and burpees, 1,000 meter run, 20 burpees, 800 meter run, 15 burpees, 600 meter run, 10 burpees, 400 meter run, and five burpees. Looking to do this in under 22 minutes. <clears throat> and really kind of keep it in mind, we don't want to overextend on this one. Consistency is the name of the game. Really intentionally try to keep the intensity below that 80% mark here. Um, focusing very specifically on um, sustainability. Uh, as you get closer to the end of this, maybe you start to, to amp this up a little bit, um, but not, not going any harder than, than that. Um, once we're done with that, we're going into a cash out um, with some uh, single leg loop bridges, some side plank hip dips, and some hollow rocks just to round out that core. On Wednesday, we're going to start in on a cycle of Bulgarian split squats. This will be the first uh, day of that. Going to go eight reps on each side for three cycles, taking about one minute between each side and set. That is not going to be a full recovery um, if you're going super challenging here, which you should be. You should be going something that's going to challenge you for eight reps. Um, this is uh, going to be with dumbbells or weights in each hand hanging by your sides um, and just finding the weight that's going to challenge you for eight. We're going to slowly build on this and change positions of where we're going to hold these weights as we go through this cycle. Uh, then we're getting into a 10 minute AMRAP, 20 push ups, 15 weighted sit ups, and 10 chin ups. Again, we're looking to do this as far as fatigue is concerned. Muscle fatigue here. Um, obviously the push-ups we've been working on, this will add in on the, that daily muscle uh, push-up challenge. Uh, weighted sit-ups are going to uh, tax the core a little differently than normal. And then 10 chin-ups um, want that to be about the muscle uh, fatigue, the muscle contraction, if you will, um, to make these stronger for you. So the scaling options here are not the standard cardio instance that we typically do. Rather than doing jumping chin-ups or something along those lines, we're going to go with something that's going to challenge uh, a little bit of the muscles banded for most people in this case. We're not looking at fast transitions on this one. On Thursday, again, we're starting another strength cycle for deadlift on this time. Three sets of eight, build to uh, or post the heaviest load you can for all eight reps. Not looking for an eight rep max here, um, just looking to set uh, three sets that are, are hard for you. Uh, you should be looking at about that, um, at least, you know, that, that kind of effort of, I may have one or two reps left in the tank, uh, but not any more than that. 
is what we're shooting for for all three sets. This does not mean all three sets have to be at the same weight. Once we're done with that, we're going into four rounds of wall walks, deadlifts, and bodybuilders over the bar. Um, this one should be moderately quick. Um, the wall walks, we definitely want to be controlled, but those deadlifts should be fairly quick. Eight reps at the weights that we're using. You shouldn't have to go more than two sets on that. Those bodybuilders are over the bar. There's no push-up involved, so you should be able to fly through that one. That's kind of the cardio feel for this one. So really quickly, down, up, jump it on the bodybuilders, looking for under 14 minutes for this effort. <clears throat> Friday, we're going to start with some skill working on hang squat cleans. Uh, squat cleans are something that just take a lot of practice. We could seriously dedicate uh, time every week to getting better at this movement. Um, so just your chance to play with this and build up on the weight to something that's a slightly above what you would use during the workout um, with good form. Obviously, that's the, the primary focus here. Um, then we're going into a 12 minute AMRAP eight hang squat cleans so picking the weight up off the floor for all eight reps uh, or keeping the weight off the floor for all, all eight reps and then a 200 meter run and we're looking to go um fairly quick on this one keeping in mind that that squat clean is a technical movement we don't want to rush through that one uh, because it is a technical movement i would rather you go with a lighter weight on this one so that you, you can control it really well if the squat clean is something that kind of eludes you, if, if maybe that movement's a little bit difficult for you, um, change it up to a power clean with a front squat. That's perfectly fine. You get the same effort out of it um, without as much of the dangers that are associated with trying to catch in that rock bottom position. The run on this one should be fairly quick, um, short distance. Everybody should be able to push that pace just a little bit. And that's really where the, the, the workout can be made or broken in that run um, by pushing how hard you push on that. On Saturday, we've got a longer partner wide where we're going to do 30 minutes, as many rounds as possible, 150 calories on the bike, 100 alternating dumbbell snatches and 50 toes to bar. Um, this is going to be a switch as often as you want. Just get through all of one movement before you move to the next one as a partner and continue to move through this very systematically. Um, because this is a you go, I go, there shouldn't be a lot of dead time between the partners. Somebody should be moving the entire 30 minutes. Um, ideally, you're going to set this up so you can do about 10 or so dumb, uh, dumbbell snatch and five or five or more uh, toes to bar pretty consistently um, because you get plenty of rest here. If that starts to, to, to move down towards the end of the workout, that's OK. This is a longer, longer effort. Just kind of keep moving between the two partners so that um, you're constantly working and getting some moving towards the end goal of accumulating as many rounds in that 30 minutes. That's what we have coming up uh, this week, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the gym. Bye.